and welcome to part four of this four-part uh, video session. Um, you are watching Poker Dad playing NL50 if you have uh, Global Poker, if you are just watching this video and haven't seen the other videos, which is fine. Um, they all can be watched standalone too, it's not that big of a deal. Um, anyway, so here we are back into the session. And it's been a pretty good session. Um, if you're wondering, if you didn't watch one of the other videos and you're wondering why I'm only playing two tables, it's because I've um, been on a seven buy and downswing. So I decided to slow things down and play on two tables to make some better EV decisions and uh, also to take better notes on players as well. So uh, it has been a good thing and uh, definitely happy with my play. I'm also off for the next three days, so I'm trying to play eight hours a day for the next three days. And finish this month off on a positive note. And also, uh, we are very focused on, well, we, I mean me, I, am very focused on table selection this session as well, which is easier to do when you're playing only two tables. Here, Queen Jack, which we will raise up. And Queen Jack on this particular board here. Well, when he docks to us, you know, this is obviously an easy fold, so. Uh, I mean, even though it's a min bet, we do have a king here, you know, I'm not going to be calling. Multi pot, pair of nines, Let's see what happens here. Nothing. Here we get king 10 suited. Uh, Alright, so we got a poster here. Get a raise, really small raise from this guy. Um, so we are small blind and we are facing uh, as a middle position. King 10 suited. So we definitely want to three bet him here. A 4x, so it'll be $4.12. I mean, we'll just make it $4.20. <laughs> I mean. To his weird bet. Not a great flop, of course. No diamonds, two aces. Pretty gross. This is a hand where you can easily give up on. This is King Eight Bing Blind versus uh, Cut Off. It's a fold. Uh, here in the button, I think we're just going to limp through here. Sons of Queens. 
I tell you, actually, YouTube music is quite relaxing. YouTube playlist. I like it. Not too much happening with the cards right now. <laughs> Two over, six, four, four. Obviously, we just check behind here. Could make a case to bet here if he checks again. With the king coming out. Interesting, he's thinking as long about, about it, though, which I think is kind of interesting. Glad to see him fold that one. <laughs> take that little pot, it's okay. We'll take whatever we can get. Didn't seem like you really wanted to play it. I fold the Jack Nine offsuit. Hey, we've been on these tables for a little while. We haven't had to switch tables for a little while. It's pretty nice. See what happens up here. Larry Joker. Open and raised. I mean, super dry board, so. Queen six, we can open raise here. A call from this guy. Three ways. All right, top pair, back door flush draw. Interesting two dollar bet here. Could always be a set, could be a flush draw, could be anything really <laughs> with these types of players, so you never know. 
just gonna see if he bets here again. That's four bucks now this time. Still looks like these donks are usually pretty weak. I have no problem calling it here. Yeah, I think we could easily fold out of this here. There's enough stuff that are gonna beat us. He's not betting three times. I don't feel like this guy's ever bluffing here. They gave us okay prices to call, so no pot size bets or anything like that. And then if you know if he would have checked there, you know, we could have an opportunity to just win it with our queen. Check this. Nothing much happening. Multi way, not a great pot. I mean, not a great um, flop, of course. I mean, this is interesting because we do have top pair here. Don't really expect anybody to... I mean, I'm just going to check behind, so... I don't expect to get any calls, and, you know... Just take it down with the jack. Two two here from the small blind. We'll be folding up, of course. He stayed off so we can open raise if it folds to us. It does not. Queen. Let's see if we got any callers. We do not. There's not much going on right now. Six seven from the big blind. And it went pot. Um, I'm inclined to actually fold this here to this raise size. I 
You know, it's a normal race size for, you know, if he's clicking the pop button here. But I don't want to call Abby out of position, you know, to to that big of a that big of a bet. It's the right play. A screen here from the big blind, see what we can do here. Definitely a three betting spot. We're playing five handed here. Here we get King Queen all see from the small blind. So this is an easy three bet spot. Don't have to. Now let's see. Reverse the cutoff. Ace Queen off is actually a call. My problem is you got this freaking guy here. Ugh, it's annoying. It's like do we try and isolate here? This guy has no money behind is the problem. Just gonna call it. Good flop for us, of course. Uh I'm going to have to bet here if he checks. All right, we definitely got a bet now. No set here. We get the set now. We'll have to bet. Let's see if we get any kind of value from this hand. Uh, King Queen suited. Button versus cutoff. Uh, Queen Jacks, King Jack suited. Uh, so we can fold. Format. Alright, we'll call it. Good flop. Don't love that. I feel like I have no choice but to fold out. As much as I'd love to call with the frickin' the flush throw is a great flop. That all in. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. No good. It was very tempting. Definitely very tempting to call, though.
pair, no spades, unfortunately. Such a light bet here, even though it's multi-way, I'm okay calling this. Well, no, it's third pair, actually. I will fold it. This is the rest middle position. It's actually a fold. That was so tempting to call, but I mean, he four bet us, so. I mean, he's probably sitting it with aces or kings or something like that. <laughs> like, if he had ace of diamonds and just two more diamonds came out, something like, you know, something crazy like that. I mean, obviously, we're so far behind then at that point, you know. I feel like we're probably very far behind. I, that's a hand I definitely would like to look at, actually, and see if calling was the right play there. I'm not really sure. Oh, such a good flop, too. And it was the right call to, you know, call the, uh, you know, to call the four bet, of course. I don't mind that. Uh, here's his button verse. So, I'm actually just going to call here with him being short stack. I don't think... Oh, does it make... Well, yeah, you know, it's not going to be too bad, actually. $4.50. And, you know, we'll just make it an SPR pod if he calls. Well, normally I'd think I would see bet here, but we'd have to go really put them all in. I don't want to do that, so let's just check behind and see what comes out next here. Yeah, we could just fold here. Definitely a tough spot, you know, because we could have easily see bet that there. But with it being so short stacked, it just doesn't make any sense. This is versus the cutoff. It's going to be a fold. Jackson Knight suited. Fold it up. I'm also gun shy calling all ins on draws because I, don't know, I never seem to hit him. <laughs>
I can fold here. I'm hungry. <laughs> I need lunch today, so. Uh, ten ten here from the button. This be a three bet here. She shoves all in. Um, Interesting spot here. I am going to actually call it recreational player. I mean, I could definitely be behind here, but I think it's worth the call. Yeah. I just got to hope he doesn't suck out on us, which is the possibility here. He does not. We take it down. Beautiful. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh... I'm okay playing a multi-way pod here in this one. Middle pair. Wish we got got some clubs here, but back door flush draw. Good spot to throw out a C bet. Three of a kind now, which is nice. I guess now we definitely have to bet here with uh two diamonds out there. Got really no choice. And uh, pretty good. I like that. Definitely want to raise him here. Uh, uh, 15 think is good, or should we just shove them all in? Let's do 22. Maybe I got greedy there. But it was the right play. No, I gotta raise him, of course, but sometimes you know, might as well go for the shove, right? I mean, he's either gonna call it or he's not gonna call it, I guess. So I just go for the shove. It's too bad, you know, he didn't have like enough flush or something like that. It would have been really nice. Still, definitely a nice pot to pick up. Uh, so this is cutoff versus middle position. King 10 suit is going to be a 3 bet. We will fold to a 4 bet here, though. 3 is on the left. Us. Back to a flush draw. We got a gut shot. Definitely a good spot for a C bet here. Five four from middle position. We'll bump this up. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that with there being no small blind. Queen two. We can raise this though.
So we can break even on this table. Now we're up. <laughs> I don't know if that meant we're up or not. We didn't lose our blind. Huge overbed here. That's easily a full house, I'm sure. Oh, well, I'm just putting them all in. In a weird way. <laughs> I was going to check behind here. Nothing, nothing doing. Let's see if we take it down with our eighth high. Yep. That's cool. Fives here. And we get raised by the middle position. Uh, so we can actually call this here. I don't love calling these, but you know what? Sometimes you get an open ender. So uh, this would be a good check raise spot here. The only concern about check raising here is if he has like an overpair, this kind of being an all in pot. So maybe we'll just call him instead of raising him here. Let's see if we just hit it. Two pair. Interesting here. We'd love to just see a check back. We get that. And, uh, you know, I don't know how good we're ever going to be here. Um,. But, I mean, he could also have, like, ace-king, ace-queen, something like that. Maybe he doesn't have a pair here. And we could actually win this thing. Yeah, ace-king. Perfect. I think I would I actually would have bet there. I, I mean, I actually would have called him there. Uh, queen-10. Here's actually a fold. I think I would have definitely called him there with the fives, thinking he has a hand like ace-king or ace-queen, which kind of seemed like it made sense that he had there when he checks back on the... Um, because if he had over, if he had an overpair there, he definitely would have. He definitely would have bet. Uh, here, of course, we're going to three bet the, the the cutoff here with queen queen. This we can fold. Uh, so make this seven dollars and fifty cents. Ah, uh, don't love that. Because we're deep, I'm going to actually just call here. I am not going to uh, four bet him or anything like that. And beautiful, we hit the queen, which is really nice. Um, hate the fact that we got three diamonds out here. It's really an SPR pot here at this point, so we just got to go all in. And we just gotta hope he doesn't have like flush or anything. Just no diamond, no diamond, no diamond. No, oh, come on! Oh, full house. All right, cool. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I thought I lost, and then I realized I had a full house. Disregard my, oh, come on. It's just only because I've been getting rivered to death lately on this site that it didn't even dawn on me the fact that I ended up with a freaking full house. That's brutal for him. That's beautiful for me. Oh, God. Woo! 
All right. <laughs> but it was the right play to shove them all in there because, um, you know, it was an SPR pot, so that's why I shoved them all in. <laughs> Get what I lost, though. I could probably thought I lost, though. I didn't even realize. I did not even realize that I had a full house. I probably had a full house already before then. I guess I did. I had a full house before then, too. But I'm just looking. I'm just staring at the cards coming out, not even realizing that I had already hit the full house. I actually had already hit the full house. So. <laughs> I didn't realize I already had the full house. It would have been so. It would not have been so emotional. I was just like, no diamond, no diamond, no diamonds. Oh, full house. Nice. I think we'll finish up this session. Well, we still got a little bit of time. <laughs> like, that, that reaction that you saw from me there is just because I've been getting rivered to death there in this downswing. And that would have been just very likely, but... I mean, I guess I had... I gotta double-check that, but I'm pretty sure I guess I had the... <laughs> I was just fo so focused on there not being a diamond that I didn't even care about the fact that there might have been two nines already out on the board. I can go into my like YouTube channel uh hilarious highlights. It's lagging by the way cuz I was just pulling up the hand I just wanted to see. I, I assume the jack I mean I assume that 9 did. I mean I, obviously the 9 came out in the turn. I already had the full house. And I do like the call there. Um in the uh and nine, of course, came out of the turn, right? Yeah, nine came out of the turn. I had a full house. I didn't realize it. That's so funny. And I'm here. I'm here. I think I lost the hand. I'm like, oh wow, I have a full house. That's great. I didn't even get. There was no. That wasn't even a river situation. I said wow. Then that actually kind of is pretty crappy because because really, it actually wasn't as interesting as it seemed. Like he already lost. Uh, here, of course, we just bet. No spade, unfortunately. Uh, this here, check. check. Don't know the fact there's no spade here, uh, but we're definitely going to keep betting. But we don't have to go crazy here. Uh, let's bet um, 325. Take it down, good. He had no spade either. Uh, let's see, small blinds here. I think we just bet this. Oh, the, uh, Jack Nine. Okay, so we're actually going to make this two dollars. Uh, here, of course, we're going to make this two dollars. I can't believe. That. I feel like so just even jerky about the fact that my reaction was like I thought I lost when I didn't realize I had a full house. <laughs> Sorry to any of my YouTube videos viewers when I screamed in anger. Uh, Donk bet all in here. I mean, God, I don't I guess I just got to call it, obviously. Hopefully it doesn't king or something. Yeah, I mean, nothing I can do about that. What am I supposed to do? Short stack, second pair. I mean, you know, just have literally anything. Um, we're going to be in position here. We're so deep, we could just call it. We don't even have the three bet or anything, like the you know, four bet or anything like that, because we're so deep. It's a good thing about being deep here. I mean, this is another potentially even all-in spot here. The only concern is, is possibility of 
uh, of them having aces or kings or a set or something like that. It's such a dry board. Alright. Now we definitely want to bet here. Here we get a pair of kings on this crazy board here. Alright, so if I would have shoved her, she would have folded anyway. She was just simply C betting there. Must have had like ace queen or something like that. I mean, really, the right play would have been the shover there. Keep in mind, I didn't four better, so if I would have four better, it's possibly she would have folded too. She probably had like something like ace queen. She's probably not even calling my shove, regardless. So the question becomes, okay, I'm playing two tables, I'm doing really good with two tables, being able to concentrate, you know, what's more important, win rate or hourly? It's always a question. Well, I guess the most important thing is winning. If you're hourly, if you're playing four tables and you're losing, hourly doesn't matter, does it? If you can't really give all the tables your full attention, I don't know. I'll probably have the two table again tonight and see what happens. I've been down this road many times before where I've explained to myself that two tabling is always better than four tabling. But I just want also to make a nicer hourly. So uh, here we have a gut shot. I mean, in bottom pair. Of course, we'll just call any bet. So this is going to be a nice session, definitely, to um, break the downswing. Needed this one. Good way to start my three days of, uh, poke, of, of poker days. Hopefully we can be just as successful tonight. I mean, I, as always, it always just helps to get the cards, you know. Getting the cards is always a helpful thing. But the table selecting also, uh, I have enjoyed the... Ability to table select <coughs> better playing two tables. <coughs> Where I want to play four tables, I'm not even thinking about table selecting. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. Probably nobody will see that because it's so deep into the video, nobody will probably even see that when that happened. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Ace two, nothing doing here. Uh, all right, so we get bottom pair here in a one pot. feel pretty good about this one here. I mean, just out of position. I'm not going to really fight for it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I could call this probably no problem, but, I mean, what am I fighting for here? Just unnecessary money going to rake. and If 
five to glimpse through. Five. Z. Ah, interesting. Rivered. I know the feeling, Slick Sam. I know the rivered feeling. So again, 7-6 offsuit. I'm perfectly fine just limping through, but of course, obviously, he raises. Just because, you know, again, it's very playable in a multi-way pot. Three four suited from middle position. Uh limp pod, definitely not. Let's go around with that. It wouldn't have even been a raise if if it did fall to me, so it doesn't matter. Jack, raise it up. Uh, just going to check behind here. Uh, we do get top pair. We'll throw out a bet. Uh, hip hop bet is fine here. Uh, well, I mean, there are draws, though, too. This is short stack, too calls. We'll just check behind here. Oh, full house. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I can tell you guys there aren't many kings or sixes. Yeah, this music like feels like porn music. It really does. Wah wah, wah wah. Um, this is a uh, multi-way. Uh, we can work with this.
I mean, we just got to call it and, and see what happens. And better. Better at 10. I mean, obviously, it's the only play there. I felt good also about playing this four hour stretch. You know, I was gonna do three and a half hours, but four hours actually is pretty good. And then I you know, I'll take a break and eat some food and got some things to do and then I'm gonna play again later on tonight. Probably like around eight o'clock and play another four hour stretch. Probably just play two tables again, feeling very comfortable playing two tables. King 10 here, we can raise that up. Fold that. I haven't noticed anything out of this person here. This actually be a three bet. No, I can't three bet this guy. So I'm just gonna call him. I mean, I can't three bet him, but it's like, what's the point though? It's like, what am I gonna make off of this guy? I'm just folding. Uh, this table broke, and actually the session is pretty much over anyway. So I only have two more minutes left to go into session. So I'll play one more hand on this table. And I'll f I'll be done with this table once the button hits up there. So all right, we're done with here. I'm gonna start closing out this session. So I think we did pretty good. Um, definitely cannot complain. So I'll wrap up the video here. Um, no reason to continue anymore with the video. I'm leaving this table here, and well, this, this is just a one table video then. Which, that'd be kind of boring. So, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, if you like what you saw, please do me a favor and subscribe and click the like button and uh, tell your friends, tell your family, tell whoever the hell you else want to tell about the channel. I appreciate it. Um, so, until next time, Poker Dead.